and nobody's going to risk all that money on somebody they don't think is going to going to pay off for it. So you really have to be more prepared to this. It's harder on the actors today because he comes in with all the dreams and all the passion and all the love of art and, and the love of great literature and painting. He comes in as an artist. It's very sobering. The mind, no less than the body for Gordon Green, must never lose sight of its declared aim, the final goal, that walk-on part that becomes a speaking part, confirming the desired truth I am an actor surviving in L.A. Well, first of all, you know, I, I talk to God because <laughs> that's my spiritual side. You know, I, I always feel that one must have some kind of foundation in their life. Uh, or else they'll get, go drifting all over the place. Um, the other thing I do is I, um, I stay focused. And what I mean by staying focused is I, um, I do the things I need to do, such as every day, like I stay active in terms of uh, what am I doing? I always ask myself every day this question, what am I doing towards advancing my career? I have regular facials and cut my hair and, you know, you, you do, hopefully, ultimately, I sort of also believe that somebody will sift through all that and see the talent. And I, I'm really like opposed to cliches. I have to be unique. It's just a thing with me. I have to. I have to have my way. I want it when I want it, and I gotta have it. Do whatever it takes, as long as it's, you know, within something that's right and morally right. Do whatever it takes. Work hard, real hard. Come out fighting. Come out winning. It's really about how much are you willing to give up. And uh, I haven't gotten to a point yet where I'm willing to give up everything that I feel is right morally and, um, you know, ethically in this business. I'm, I'm just not ready to do that yet. Maybe that time will come. I don't know. I hope not. I hope that the good will prevail and I will be able to, um, people will see me as interesting and will see that who I am is more interesting at that I'll become the flavor of the month. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> We teach you to be uniquely you, and you're going to only come out a star if you use, if you're authentic, if you use who you are and what you are. If you come here to try and be homogenized like everybody else, you're just, you're just a journeyman actor. You see, you're going to be like everybody else, that you're going to give a nice performance, you'll probably get work. It'll be nice, you know, but it's not satisfying. If you look at the people who've made it, they are absolute originals. The Hollywood sign seems to smile Like it's constantly saying cheese From Europe, Asia, and Africa. From the east coast of USA to the Midwest, our players have all volunteered to enroll in the Boulevard of Dreams. Like Midnight Cowboys, they are still paying their dues. Like John Voight, their projections will always need some form of affirmation from the other side of the screen. I was in a low period in my life, right before coming home. I was feeling bad about things, and I was walking on the beach with Al. I'd just gone down to see him. And he took the time to walk, and he was now a big star, and we're walking on the beach, and I said, I don't know if I can act anymore. I just don't know if I've got it, you know. I just feel like, I felt so badly, really. And I started telling this story how I'd seen Muhammad Ali in New York. I see all these people around this fella. I said, who's over there? He said, Muhammad Ali. I said, well, I know a couple of people that know him. I think I'll go over and say hello. And I, and I really wanted to give him a little salute. So I go over, and as I go over, some people started recognizing me right after Midnight Cowboy. So they, they said, oh, Mr. Voigt, Mr. Voigt. Then he said, hey, you're somebody. I said, yes, I am. <laughs> and I, you know, it was just this kid with scraggly clothes on. And he said, uh, what, who are you? I said, I'm, uh, I'm a movie star. I said to him, I didn't call myself a movie star, but with Muhammad, I thought I better make myself as big as I could. I said, I'm a movie star. He says, which movie star are you? I said, you really wouldn't know who I am, Muhammad. Uh, my name is John Voigt, and I've just done a movie called The Midnight Cowboy. Midnight Cowboy, he says to me, Midnight Cowboy. I heard of that, Midnight Cowboy. He said, if you're a cowboy, let me see you walk like a cowboy.
I said, Muhammad, I just walk like anybody else. I said, I did this part in the movie. I said, no, come on, you can walk like a cowboy. I said, it wasn't a real cowboy. I was trying to explain to him. And he said, I said, he said, well, come on, I got to catch this plane. So you come on with me. And here's a 150 people just waiting at the gate for Muhammad to go in the gate. So I finally said, all right, John, well, I'll see you now. And so he walks away. And I said, well, goodbye, Muhammad. It's great to see you. And then I turn around to walk away. And I felt uncomfortable. So there I'm walking, and I'm trying to look because everybody's looking at me now and now i'm getting all this attention to muhammad i can and i'm just walking away here's muhammad ali's friend john Boyle, and i'm walking away and then i hear from the back Everybody you walk just me. like a cowboy <laughs> <laughs> try to strut away <laughs> that's my walk so he had snuck back to just see what i walk like so anyway i told that story to al pacino you know and we just talked al, al and i were talking and he said you see John? I said, what? What now? He said, that's acting. You're a great actor. Some will succeed and some will fail, leaving behind their shadows in unseen reels. But still they will come to enroll in the boulevard of dreams. The cameras have arrived. They have. Tell Mr. DeMille I'll be on the set at once. Aging actress. Yesterday's blank. All right, cameras, act. The dream she had clung to so desperately had enfolded her. I just want to tell you all how happy I am to be back in the studio, making a picture again. You see, this is my life. It always will be. There's nothing else. Just us. And the cameras. And those wonderful people out there in the dark. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> <laughs>